Right, welcome to Train Sim World 2. We are uh, running a seafood to Brighton train of a uh, 30 class 3774 uh, run by a southern. So if we're late, it's fine. Uh, it's got four cars, it's just about 88.2 yards, and the head code is 2 Charlie 4 1. Alright, anyway, that's enough for that stupid the storm while I was reading all that out. Let's go. Oh. Oh, that's... That was loud. Alright, um... So I set up, yeah, I set up to Brighton. I set up the... Doors. So that's neutral. Doors. And the glass. Oh, I really should have done that last. That's just going to keep you yelling at me. Shut up. Put check that the lights in the pub set up. Put blue animals that lights in the pub. No, no, we haven't. So that's the last thing we can do. Just nothing else is looking fine. Uh, Bang running. I know it's raining. It's actually daytime, so it shouldn't actually be too bad. It's the windscreen wiper. There we go. That's one thing I noticed about the windscreen wipers is now, even when you're standing still, you don't really tend to get a lot of rain on the windows until you start actually moving. I kind of like that, but I kind of don't at the same time. So, I've gone too quick, I'm not concentrating. Because, um, you know, you think about it, yeah, sure, you get a... Well, I mean, it's like a flat front, so I guess it kind of depends, but... You're still going to get some rain on the window. And I might be missing something, because I can't really see it. A lot of raindrops in there because of the white output. Let's use that fun going off very professional me. <laughs> anyway, we'll just take a look for that. It's just oh cross the floor. But that's another thing that I'm quite liking about this is that uh wheel slip has been implemented. So uh, you have traction issues, especially in this sort of weather. I was running the um, Sand Patch Grade route uh, yesterday. Well, yesterday for me, last week for you at this point. Um, and it was quite nice actually having to struggle up the hills because the wheels kept spinning while I was putting the power on so I had to make sure I put the sand in and put a little bit of power up gradually right until I get to a certain speed to put more power on and so on and so forth and the braking is uh, all depends on what the weather's like as well so like, obviously you'd be braking like at the end of this platform just about now but I'm having to brake a little bit more because it's sliding slightly, it's slightly aeroplane over the top of the tracks. That uh, plane, I'm sorry. Which I actually find quite nice. Stand that sign, it's a little bit quieter over than the fan, obviously. I do like this model. I'm not a fan of train type itself, I'm not a fan of electrostars of any kind, but I do I do like the look of them more. just don't like the fact that there's a lot of them. I don't know why, but I don't know, electrostars just kind of not the wrong way from me, I don't like them, they're... Eh. 
It's like um, it's like the middle of Main Line. I'm on the middle of Main Line. I, I like forty threes. I like the older stuff. And then you got because there's not a lot of them, especially at the moment. There's not many of them. I think there's only like seven of them running around in there. Maybe eight. I don't know. It's definitely less than ten now. But the rest of them are just it's just Meridians. It's just two two twos just running around. They're so boring. There's so much you can do with them. Probably not tolerate them. I mean, they get you from A to B, so you can't really complain much if you can, but. Yeah. Brings you on to the IETs. Don't really like the IETs. IETs suck. I like, I like what they do. I like the buy mode and all that. Just. Don't like the fact that they're very bland, very boring, they're not... They... They've kind of been designed a bit bad as well, because... you got... you got the whole, um... Two, double up train. One of them will have, like, a catering bit in it. The other one, some of them don't. Unless... Unless I've missed something and they've just started updating them and they now do. But especially at the start, it was like one of them would be a two set thing. You'd have to come out of one set, go into the back set, get your food, and by the time you've got your stuff, you've got to wait until you get to the next station to be able to go back through to the other thing to give the food to the other, other people that you've got to get the food for. And plus, I don't know, some people like them, some people think that they do have character, but in my opinion, they're just, they don't. Comparing to like 43s and the old steam trains and the old diesel locos and all that, they, they, they don't. They don't, they just have no character, they're so bland, it's like these trains are just, I mean even these trains have a bit more character, but, you know, you look at it. As nice as it looks, it's just, I don't know, it just looks dead. Runs out, ran very quick, didn't I? I just kept repeating loads of stuff over. It, well, I'll stop with that rant, she'll probably scream at me, shut up. I'll be screaming at me, shut up. Crunch up there. I'll use it for thumbnail. And um, the noise is blocking up again, so that's, that's lovely. We'll start edging forwards. Is that point in rushing it? Can't really rush it anyway, but I'm going full power, I'm obviously going to have trouble starting. So I'll just sort of close on much on the power for a minute while we're um, go out for the time to clip it if I remember not really too far ahead so we should arrive on time not have too much waiting. I admit the rain sounds nice on the roof, but can't help but notice the leaping. Too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Stop, 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 stop! Oof. Whoops. I'm going to have one slightly, don't I? Eesh. I was not paying attention, I was too busy on focusing on rain on the... It sounds nice around here, I can't notice the loop in here, even with the sound of like water draining off of like roofs and that. Can't hear any looping. 
up in here with it coming down on the roof. I can hear quite a bit of looping. There. 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 Make it. I don't know, it's just kind of buggy. It kind of bugs me a little bit. Sound the horn there, seeing if we're crossing the platform. Not the kids are like these days, all just running out in the into tracks for some reason. It's just bloody annoying. Piss me off when I hear that sort of thing. I think there was like, I saw like one person who was out on the tracks and he got caught by the BT-30 and I asked him why he was out on the tracks and they're like, we oh, were, well, everyone's in lockdown so there ain't any trains running Of course there's still trains running What do you think's going to happen? You think just because everyone else has stopped, every, everything's going to stop, come on we got to have a bit of common sense, I mean... It's like just because... I don't know, like... Just because... I don't know what's actually a good example, but... Um, I don't know, it's like a, I don't know, a nuclear bomb, we'll just go with that. Bomb goes off, big blast, you down the shell at your fine safe, right? Blast disappears, you go outside. You get radiation poisoning, somebody asks you why you went outside. Oh, because the, bla because the blast is gone, so nothing's going to happen to me. It's, it's like, oh, just because something isn't there doesn't mean that there isn't something there. You know, you go walking up a piece of track and the train's going to come around at like 90 to 100 to God knows what miles per hour. The driver ain't going to see you before it's too late. It's going to ram into you. You're going to be dead. The driver's going to be traumatised. Your family's going to be traumatised. Don't do it. It's just stupid. There's me going on a rank and going over speed. I think the driver reminder thing went off. I didn't notice. I don't I like the interior. Could go on another one. No. Interior one. Windows work, sound changes with the windows. The blinds, blinds work, all these buttons and that work. This works. Even if it's to a limited degree. I wish these worked. There's so many of these buttons, the very low buttons, the other screens here, the camera. I assume these are like the camera screens for uh, the doors and that, so when you stop the cameras come up and that. I really wish, really wish I'd put a patch in that that worked. It'd be quite good. I've gone too quick again, am I? There's a sanding button. There. Right. Let's see how bad that was up. Oh. That's how you stop. Not like this. Oh no, how many characters will go over? One. One and a half. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, the platform's too small, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing, we just, yeah, platform's, <coughs> platform's too small, shut up. It's, um, shh, tell Melvin of this. Oh, 
Now oh, I'm pressing the controller buttons. I should really try and sort of do it sort of in car, in, in carb, carb, hmm. in cab. It'd be a lot better, I think. Stations Lewis 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 Still need someone to tell me if that's what right or wrong. Um Lewis Whatever that place. It'd be kinda of difficult to overrun that that platform because the ones we're going into will be going at ten miles per hour into them. And the other one's twenty miles per hour, so regardless. I do like this route. It was my favourite route on here until the island line came out. That'll probably be my next one doing this island island line scenarios. So I really do like that route. I know it's like small, there's not a lot really happened in AI ones and all that. But I like it. It's, it's, it's just a nice little relaxing route just to have a little jaunt around, go from the pier up to Shanklin, Shanklin back down to the pier and that. kind of wish that bed next do like, or at some point do like uh, the steam railway portion. I mean, yeah, granted, I haven't put steam locomotives in here yet because of constraints with uh, Xbox controllers and, and just just constraints with the whole um, what's the uh, physics engine and all that sort of stuff uh, in general, anyway. So it's fair enough that they're working around that. Yeah, I think it has like some small diesel things, oh, the perma quick or something that was in the um, frame somewhere, it just stick one of them on or a little shunt or some description with it as well, just use them for now. And just add on the steam locomotive, one of the steam locomotives in the late or at a later date or something. I can't wait steam engines coming out now. That'd be really good, that'd be so fun. Multiplayer as well. That's definitely going to be fun multiplayer. It'll be very interesting whether actually anyone um, does it properly. If we're five ones just going to piss about. I assume at the beginning people are probably just going to really piss about with it. Longer, I'm probably going out this in about but Oh, excuse me, take up. But uh, you know at later date there are gonna be more people on it doing it like serious driving and that. Then there is gonna be people just messing about. There's probably gonna be two like de dedicated servers, say oh come on here if you're not gonna do it if you just wanna have a mosey about and have a mess about the trains and that, like the routes and that, do uh, whatever you want to like, do, or in another one where it's like serious driving. It will be fun. It will be fun indeed. Nice sort so I do, I do a bit of train spotting on it, especially seeing as we're locked in at the moment. Um, can't really do anything for another week or so. Actually, by the time this comes out, the lockdown will probably be over. Or just about to finish. But it's come kind of moment, I can't really go out to the station, right? Because we've been kicking everyone off the station when um, needing the trains and that. Which is fair enough. But, um, yeah, so I've been doing that on here. Just 
kind of past the time. Speaking of which, the one thing that actually kind of bugs me while I'm here thinking about it. These. They, these don't do anything. They're here, but they don't do anything. And I managed to get them working with the AI on um, the Bakerloo line. To an extent. But it does... They haven't... I would, they haven't quite like... They haven't even put a clock on it. It's just dead. It's like all of them just not working. But I would quite like to see an update on all the routes that sort of implement them in now that they've sort of quite shown that it can be done even if it's just basic I mean just update and put a clock on it you know just, just give it a bit of life it'll sort of liven up the stations a little bit it'll be quite it'll just be like a nice little thing there it just uh, Especially like people who just like exploring the places. It's like, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to really tell you when something is not going to come through, when when it's going to come through. Yeah, because something passing through won't stop and then it tells you. Hmm. You know, because I like sort of exploring station, watching a few things go by, you know, it takes like over an hour to do that, and what, and then getting trained down to the next one, and doing it there as well, or just getting the express service from God, like Slough or something down to Pendleton or up to Reading and then just knowing when the next one's going to turn up right it's just kind of just it's just a bit nicer it's quite like the underground one I know the underground one's a bit simpler because you know every like 12 10 15 minutes or so you, you've got one come in so it's like on a pretty it's pretty known sort of time table and knows that everything's going to be stopping there anyway so I don't know, I'm sure they can't probably do it they could be able to like fix something I'm sorry, maybe they, maybe they will at some point maybe they've just got their eyes on everything else so they have um, had their uh, Attention of it to the last of the uh, uh, Trains in World DLCs being put onto here. What, what was they call the um, collection or something? I, don't, I can't remember now. But I just finished that. I got the Great Western Expresses now on there. So that's finished that up. Which I'm quite surprised that, that was the last one in there. I would have thought they would have like, updated that a little bit, but it doesn't really look like they have. Well, maybe I'm just missing a couple of things on low speed it. Slow down. That was quite nice to have a while up again, so I've had to get rid of uh, Trains in World 2020 to uh, make room for this one. <laughs> so it's been quite nice to do the groups again. The new routes, though. Oh, brilliant. They're great, I love them. The details are pretty good. There's the locomotives sound nice, the sounds are better than they have been, the visuals are nice, uh, the real slipping that's obviously good for implement like traction and all that madness. It's um yeah, it's actually pretty nice and yeah, and steam trains will be coming in at some point, Mark Player will be coming in at some point. Uh, got routes coming out on a somewhat regularish basis. If there's not a new route out, there's been like a predecessor route from be like put in or loco's been put in. Uh, it's been quite quite nice. Uh, even on the um, train simulator, there seems to have ramped up the routes being put in, logos being put in. I've noticed um, a fair amount more stuff being put in. Even from like the third party bullet makers like Just Trains and probably not Armstrong Powerhouse. Especially Just Trains with like the uh, mid to mainline extensions. They've been hammering that. They were hammering them out recently. Getting the last bits in that. 
been, it seems like everyone's just sort of, since this one's come out, everyone's sort of just been like, oh, quick, we must, must make more things. Quite fast. It's been nice, it's been nice getting more like, trains and all that stuff coming through. Yeah, nice change of pace. Remember the days where we'd be waiting months for a new thing to come out. It's like close to my... Yeah. Uh, half a mile away from Falmo, we might as well coast. And that's nice as well, I do, I do like this. So I can actually run dynamic lighting because on my laptop, my laptop's a bit crap, so I can't actually have dynamic lighting, so it's just like sort of all lit up. On here, I love it, it's great, I love dynamic lighting, all the raindrops and that. Brilliant. So much nicer. Maybe one day I'll get that laptop and I'll play some of the games a bit better and actually show up in a bit of a better quality. But for now you've just got to deal with what's on there. Oh, by the way, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm that way. No more little shitty animated head. Popping up out of nowhere. Fading in, fading out, some crappy text. Although you probably been yelling at me multiple times to shut up. <laughs> You're probably actually begging me to put the old little animation thing back on. Probably sound like hell at the moment, I've got a cold so... That as well, I quite like that. The torch. Quite invested in the torch thing. Comes in quite handy every now and again. Yeah, ranting again. I noticed that a lot of them, haven't they? Because I've gone on tangents, I'll say something like that, I'll say, no, yeah, no more I haven't had anything. Ooh, torch. <laughs> I'll, I'll press a random button and I'll just start talking about that. I've noticed that, um, Train to Mob 1, uh, 2020, uh, there was the slight problem of the sounds. If there was a certain amount of sounds playing, then some of the sounds are cut out. I have noticed that a little bit on this on this. But especially on here, I haven't haven't noticed it quite as much. Which is nice. There's the odd times that happens every now and again, so like some will come in, some will cut out, or and it's out on the great uh, western group sometimes, especially some little sound glitches as well, so like the MT MTU engine will kick up and you get like thumping with the MTUs, but instead of just like a nice sort of bassy thump that it usually do, there has sort of been a bit of a uh, Like that's sort of like popping associated with it. I went back through like a one of our sort of test streams. So I've been doing sort of make sure my headset works and god knows this might end up turning into a little test video. Uh, but uh, yeah I thought it was just my headset but I listened back without a headset and I listened on my laptop it was there Listened on the TV, it was still there. I even asked someone else about it and they said they could hear it as well, so I, I assume it's just um it's just a bit of an audio glitch. Which is kind of annoying. I'd say kind of annoying is actually really annoying. Uh, can't get a little bit of... Yeah, it's not the thing in Stubtown anyway, I'll kind of bug the port, but... 
Yeah, sometimes there's little missed things. It depends on how many people have also heard it as well while they've been playing it. I've, I've, never, I've never noticed it before, not in TS2020, uh, TS, TW2020. Or even in train sim, not even with like the Armstrong powerhouse stuff. I haven't heard it, it just seems to sort of be on here. Could just be a audio error or something where it got transitioned over. Which makes sense. Shut that rain up for a bit, it actually gets a bit annoying after some time. I do like the sound of rain on metal and that. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, just like my voice, it's getting annoying. What's this bloody the models might have gotten a little work done on them. I mean, like the clothes, I think, have. I don't know why you'd be wearing them shoes in this weather, but... Well, it's a twin, there's two of them, there's, there's two of the buggers. Hang on. And oh, no, there's three of them. What is this, Moscow is only occupied by one person in their clone. Clones. Not the clone. The plural, there's more than clones. Hmm. Very strange. Uh, where are we going next? Um, assuming the, um, this has come from Seaford, the next one will be London Road, won't it? Let's see, right, now, I'm assuming in real life, this would not happen. This door being open, unless the, like, disabled the interlock, that should not be open. This train should not be moving. This is a test. Hmm. I've been wrong. Maybe, it, maybe it's not on the 377s. Seven, uh, maybe Southern didn't want that option. <laughs> maybe they wanted their drivers to fall out. Who knows? That's a slow down market. That's a slow down market. I don't know, it's only down to London Road in a second anyway, so... I'll just keep at this speed and we'll still pretty much be there on time. I'll make it in good enough time. Yeah, sorry we've been only sniffing. Seven minutes ago, I've got a bit cold. Really be doing this, but I'm horribly bored. It's very boring being stuck in your house for a month. We're going to sound the horn before you go into the tunnel, just in case somewhere in the tunnel. Please break. Please break. Please break. Please break. However, it doesn't break my foot, it breaks too much. Yeah. I'm still not pressing the buttons, am I? So I was going to, and what happened? I'm not sure I remember doing that in another video or something. Right on. Like that it's sort of distorted by the raindrops. Nice touch. on the traction and not be down there. Despite all that, I'm probably still going to be on top. It's a closed door. It's a closed door. I will use the button. The button I'll use from, from now. As soon as it gets in the button, don't forget the button. Okay. Yeah, what might it? And the, hmm. Yeah, it'd probably be an automatic sander for the 
breaking, but I'm not, I didn't notice that it does it for the, um, throttle as well. Or whistle. I know, I know really supposed to use them only in the, um, sort the guards and that. It's better than deafening people by that way. Right? Right, I'm off to the thin platform way, I believe. I might be wrong. I think that's the one right on the far left as we go in. Over there on the right is um, Lover's Walk Depot. There's Lover's Walk Depot. Lover's Summit Depot. Yeah, I'm sure it was Lover's Walk. But anyway, and then going upside, leading up there, is the uh, London Brighton Main Line. Take you up to a uh, place like uh, Gatwick Airport, uh, Burley, Seven Oaks, Forty uh, East Croydon, Victoria, Clapham, in no particular order. I ran too much on my arms. So. <laughs> Arrived in one of the nicest train trips I've ever seen. I really need to go down here in real life. Should be far past proud now. Very when you um, come into a terminating platform, you should be coming in at about 10 miles per hour. To and uh, be about five miles per hour at least about carriages length away from where you want to stop any any more than that you're gonna, gonna have to really try and shove the brakes on there we go so that's Seaford oh no didn't have no do I have time no don't have time all right well that was Seaford to Brighton Not the most compelling thing I've ever done in my life, talking down the microphone. I'm a bit monotone, but I'm sick, and this is the first time I've done this, so give me a bit to get comfortable <laughs> with it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that anyway. Should be having more of the uh, Janetta Junior series kicking off soon. Uh, is, oh, what did I have? I've got the format. It's like Friday is the. Um, practice runs every Saturday is the race and then an hour after that one's come up should be the uh, replay although I don't know if it's come out or not yet but the round two replay for some reason didn't want to work so I've, I tried it a few times and for some reason the my car went all the other cars revved up but they didn't move. So there's a whole race going on. And you see the car sort of. Like where I've hit someone accidentally. Suddenly sort of slowing down. Or sliding around. And there's nothing there. Anyway you've probably had enough of hearing me. Chatting crap for the last 40 minutes. So. Bye. <laughs>